Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just about to take off here for a little day of exploring and fishing, so here we go. I love having a light canoe. Check out this cool place. I've actually never been here before, but I heard it's incredible. gotten into the habit of tying my bag up to my canoe. That way if I ever do tip on big water like this, all my stuff will stay together. My phone handy just in case. So apparently there's bass at the mouth of this. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have to cross here because I don't think there's anything up, like upstream. So I'll try at the mouth for now. Means we're gonna have to get across here somehow. Probably should have just parked my canoe on the other side. It's not too bad though, I think we can do it. I needed to cross, but holy, that's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> also, my camera is in my backpack. So there's no way in hell I could have fallen down there. That would have been bad. So I think we'll try fishing around here. This summer seems to just be flying by. I've been so, so busy that it's been hard to find time to get into the outdoors. So a day trip like this was a real refreshment, even though I didn't have to go very far from my home. It was just a short drive and a 20 minute paddle away and I was able to come out to this beautiful place just to enjoy the outdoors and try my hand at fishing again. The spot isn't remote by any means, but if you go on the right day, you can just about get the place to yourself. I'm just going to quickly jump in here to thank the sponsor of this video, Native. Native makes daily hygiene staples that are clean and they recently came out with 100% plastic free deodorant that is recyclable, which really piqued my interest. As you guys know, I live a super busy and active lifestyle. I work a really physically demanding job, go on camping trips, and I'm always playing sports. And through all that, I've struggled to find a deodorant that is made with simple ingredients that actually work. Native's ingredients do not include aluminum or parabens. It allows your body to sweat while providing fresh odor protection for up to 72 hours, which is great for canoe trips when you go that long without a shower. 
and the texture is super smooth and dry. They have a ton of scents to choose from, but I've tried three of them so far. I love the charcoal one, it literally smells like fresh air. The sensitive skin aloe and green tea scent, which is made without baking soda, also smells really clean. And I also love the unscented one for camping in bear country where any smells can attract animals to your campsite. So take advantage of this offer, use my link below and the code Karina Alexis to get 20% off your first purchase at Native and try it out for yourself. Thanks again Native, and now back to the video. Okay, so I'm having absolutely no luck fishing right now. I haven't done this in a long time anyway, but it's also not probably not the best time of day for it. So I might, um, I'm gonna go upriver a bit and just kind of explore and like jaunt around, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go exploring because I'm not having any luck fishing. So <laughs> might as well do something. It's pretty here. So I'm just out walking down the beach exploring a little bit. There is a fire ban, so I can't even collect wood and start a fire. I will try fishing again later, and I did bring uh, like a little burner so I can cook my food on. And I just brought something in case I didn't catch any fish, which is likely, or I can have it with the fish, so either way. Huge. Funny enough, this spot being so close to home, Same. my day out took an interesting nice. turn when our good friend Blake, oh, whom you've seen on both channels before, was out fishing with his little brother and stopped by this spot to catch some bass. Blake is an avid fisherman and of course as soon as he showed up, he caught one immediately. So they spent a few hours fishing here and gave me some tips and also gave me the lure that was working best in this spot. And so I was able to snag a few bass myself later on. So huge shout out to Blake. It was so fun to catch fish again and I appreciate the help. So then after that, I had another surprise when Brandon actually finished work early and was able to boat out and join me here too. So he caught a little bit of footage of me fishing and catching some bass. And uh, yeah, we were able to enjoy the afternoon together. And then he buzzed off home and I kind of continued until later on in the day. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, oh, he's fighting though. Here he is. <laughs> Come here, little guy. My battery's gonna die, but maybe I can catch another. All right, bud. I got a big one. Oh, this GoPro's gonna die. All right, come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, my line snapped. No! <laughs>
Alright, so it's uh, almost 8 o'clock at night. Losing the sun pretty bad, but caught a bunch of fish. The place I'm at, um, Blake and his little brother, Blake, you guys have seen it on, on my channel and Timbermaids before. Um, but they were fishing in the area too, and it was actually Blake who caught this guy. And uh, I ca caught a few, and then of course, I'm pretty sure I had one on this, just about this big. And my camera battery died, and then the line snapped. Um, so I'm super bummed about that, which is why it's so late, because I just kept fishing trying to catch another one like that, and it just didn't happen. So this is the fish that Blake caught and it's beautiful and normally we would have let it go but it was hooked pretty bad and uh, and he wasn't doing too well anyway so he's a goner so we might as well honor him cook him up and at least enjoy him but it's a beautiful beautiful bass it's just kind of a shame but that's the way it goes sometimes so all right Clean them up and cook them. Trying out this titanium pan from Silver Ant for like the first time. Let's see how it does with this. It's not working. It's a dud. That'll teach me for trusting a stupid lighter. I should have just brought a fire steel out. Well, crap. Wow, that's bogus. Bring back up. Always. It's a gorgeous location and I can't even cook this right now. Um, well, tell you what. I couldn't cook up the whole thing anyways. I'm just one person. That's a huge fish. So I might as well bring it home. And uh, I guess we'll show it cooking it at home with Brandon. And I get to provide for my man, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's garbage. Sorry, guys. I'll let you down on that one. Alright. I'm going to pack up. The sun's going down anyways, and I obviously didn't plan on staying out tonight. Um, I spent way too much time fishing. <laughs> but uh, let's bring this home, and uh, we'll pick this video up at home. I got to... At least the water's calm, I can paddle out of here. But, uh, wow, that sucks. All right, I'll see you at home. Look at that sunset. Go 
Okay, so home now with my honey, showered, and I cleaned up the fish and did not do the best job, but this fillet looks pretty good. I'm definitely out of practice cleaning fish, but anyways. Brandon has a recipe that involves crushed Cheerios? Yeah, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I think so. I'm going to try something. So we're going to try it. It sounds pretty good the way he explained it. So we're going to try it. And uh, yeah, sucks that my thing didn't work, but it was probably a good thing because I feel like I would have left way too late and probably would have not found the launch that I used. Um, <sighs> to get on the water. So, probably a good thing. I don't think I would have had enough sunlight left to actually cook everything and then clean up and pack up and go back, so. We're doing it here. I think I should have crushed it up better, but. I think it'll be good. It all. The best corner pestle idea here. <laughs> all right, I got some rice. And my man whipped up crazy delicious batter. This is yours, love. Just say when. So, these crunchy bits. Can you actually see me? Yeah. Mmm. So, Brandon's recipe. We're calling it right now. <laughs> it was accidental. It's so freakishly good and we can't even explain it, but like it's delicious. Good job, baby. So I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this video was like super all over the place. I do apologize. I wasn't like the most prepared for this one. Uh, but I wanted to go out and do something kind of different today and messed up a few things, but that's okay. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless, and thank you so much for watching. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.